Stanford University has many centers and institutes dedicated to the study of various specific topics. These centers and institutes may be within a department, within a school but across departments, an independent laboratory, institute or center reporting directly to the dean of research and outside any school, or semi-independent of the university itself. Independent laboratories, institutes and centers These report directly to the Vice Provost and Dean of Research and are outside any school though any faculty involved in them must belong to a department in one of the schools. These include BioX and Spectrum in the area of Biological and Life Sciences, Precourt Institute for Energy and Woods Institute for the Environment in the Environmental Sciences area, the Center for Advanced Study in the Behavioral Sciences CASBS, the Center for the Study of Language and Information CSLI, see below, Freeman Spogli Institute for International Studies FSI, See below, Human Sciences and Technologies Advance Research Institute H -Star, Stanford Center on Longevity SCL, Stanford Humanities Center see below, and the Stanford Institute for Economic Policy Research SIEPR, in the area of Humanities and Social Sciences, and, for Physical Sciences, the Edward L. Ginston Laboratory, the Gabaye Laboratory for Advanced Materials, the Kavli Institute for Particle Astrophysics and Cosmology, Photon Ultrafast Laser Science and Engineering Pulse, Stanford Institute for Materials and Energy Sciences CIMES, and W. W. Hansen Experimental Physics Laboratory HEPL. Center for the Study of Language and Information The Center for the Study of Language and Information is an independent research center at Stanford University. Founded in 1983 by philosophers, computer scientists, linguists, and psychologists from Stanford, Shri International, and Xerox PARC, it strives to study all forms of information and improve how humans and computers acquire and process it. CSLI was initially funded by a $15 million grant from the System Development Foundation SDF for the Situated Language Project, the name of which reflects the strong influence of the work on situation semantics by philosophers John Perry and John Barwise, two of the initial leaders of CSLI. This funding supported operations for the first few years as well as the construction of Cordora Hall. Subsequent funding has come from research grants and from an industrial affiliates program. CSLI's publications branch, founded and still headed by Dikran Karajujan, has grown into an important publisher of work in linguistics and related fields. Researchers associated with CSLI include Ronald Kaplan, Patrick Supace, the mathematicians Keith Devlin, and Solomon Pfefferman, the linguists Ivan Sag and Joan Bresnan, Annie Zanin, Laurie Kartanen, and psychologists Herb Clark, B.J. Fogg and Clifford Nass. CSLI houses the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. It also housed the Reuters Digital Vision Program. Topic: Directors. John Barwise 1983 to 1985. John Perry 1985-1986, 1993-1994. Thomas Wasau 1986-1987, 2006-2007 John Etchmondy 1990-1993 
David Israel C. 1999–2000 Byron Reeves C. 2001–2005 Stanley Peters 2008–2013 Chris Potts 2013 present Topic <laughs> Freeman Spogli Institute for International Studies The Freeman Spogli Institute for International Studies is a university-wide research and teaching organization at Stanford devoted to understanding international and cross-border policies, problems and institutions. FSI's core and affiliated faculty represent a range of academic backgrounds and perspectives, including medicine, law, engineering, history, political science, economics, and sociology. The faculty's research and teaching focus on a variety of issues, including governance, domestic and international health policy, migration, development, and security. Their work often examines regional dynamics in areas such as Asia, Europe, Africa and Latin America. FSI faculty conduct research, lead interdisciplinary research programs, educate graduate and undergraduate students, and organize policy outreach that engages Stanford in addressing some of the world's most pressing problems. The institute is composed of 12 centers and programs, including six major research centers Center on Democracy, Development and the Rule of Law Center on Food Security and the Environment Center for Health Policy, Primary Care and Outcomes Research Center for International Security and Cooperation CISAC. The Europe Center Tech. Walter H. Shorenstein Asia Pacific Research Center A -Park. Topic History The Institute was founded in 1987 following a faculty committee review that concluded Stanford should be leading the way in international studies as we do in science and technology, encompassing interdisciplinary teaching, research, public service and administrative functions. It was first called the Institute for International Studies, and was created under the direction of former Stanford President Richard Wall Lyman. The Institute was renamed the Freeman Spogli Institute for International Studies in 2005 following a $50 million gift made by Stanford alumni Bradford M. Freeman and Ronald P. Spogli. The immediate past director of FSI was Mariano Florentino. Queller, the former Stanley Morrison Professor of Law at Stanford Law School, a former official in the Obama and Clinton presidential administrations, and current Justice of the California Supreme Court. Previous directors include Stanford President Emeritus Gerhard Casper, Coit D. Blacker, who served as Special Assistant to the President for National Security Affairs and Senior Director for Russian, Ukrainian and Eurasian Affairs at the National Security Council under National Security Advisor Anthony Lake during the Clinton administration, David Holloway, Walter Falcon, and Stanford President Emeritus Richard Lyman. FSI appoints faculty and research staff, funds research and scholarly initiatives, directs research projects, and sponsors lectures, policy seminars and conferences. By tradition, FSI undertakes joint faculty appointments with Stanford's seven schools and draws faculty together from the university's academic departments and schools to conduct interdisciplinary research on international issues that transcend academic boundaries. The institute is home to 40 billeted faculty members, most with joint appointments, and 115 affiliated faculty members with a wide range of academic perspectives. 
In addition to its six centers, the Institute sponsors the Ford Dorsey Program in International Policy Studies, the Inter University Center for Japanese Language Studies, the Program on Energy and Sustainable Development, the Rural Education Action Program, the Stanford Center at Peking University, and the Stanford Program on International and Cross Cultural Education. Topic Directors twenty fifteen present Michael McFall twenty thirteen to twenty fifteen Mariano Florentino Queller twenty twelve twenty thirteen Gerhard Casper two thousand three to twenty twelve Coit D. Blacker 1998 to 2003 David Holloway 1991 to 1998 Walter Falcon 1987 to 1991 Richard Wall Lyman Topic Stanford Humanities Center Founded in 1980, the Stanford Humanities Center is a multidisciplinary research institute dedicated to advancing knowledge about culture, philosophy, history, and the arts. History Since its founding in 1980, the Stanford Humanities Center has been sponsoring advanced research into the historical, philosophical, literary, artistic, and cultural dimensions of the human experience. The Humanities Center's annual fellows, international visitors, research workshops, digital humanities laboratory, and roughly 50 annual public events strengthen the intellectual and creative life of the university, foster innovative and interdisciplinary scholarship and teaching, and enrich our understanding of our common humanity. The humanities support democratic culture by nurturing an informed citizenry and seeking solutions to society's most formidable challenges. <laughs> Fellowships The center offers approximately 25-year-long residential fellowships to Stanford and non-Stanford scholars at different career stages, giving them the opportunity to pursue their research in a supportive intellectual community. <laughs> research workshops each year, Stanford faculty and graduate students create 15 diverse research workshops to ask new intellectual questions that often challenge disciplinary boundaries. In addition to providing a space for incubating new ideas in a collegial setting, the workshops professionalize graduate students by introducing them to the conventions of academic life. Topic. Manuscript review workshops Assembling a team of faculty experts from Stanford and other universities, the manuscript review workshops provide critical feedback to junior faculty preparing monographs or other academic manuscripts of similar scope for submission for publication. Topic. Public lectures The center brings eminent scholars, public intellectuals, and renowned critics to the Stanford campus for lectures and interdisciplinary conferences that enrich the Stanford community with a lively exchange of ideas. Speakers have included Isabel Allende, Roger Chartier, Stephen J. Gould, Douglas Hofstadter, Gayatri Spivak, Marilyn Robinson, David Adjay, David Eggers, and other well-known scholars.
Topic: <laughs> Digital Humanities. The Humanities Center, with the Center for Spatial and Textual Analysis CESTA, is expanding the possibilities of humanities research and teaching at Stanford by creating opportunities for the discovery and dissemination of new knowledge. Humanities Center scholars are on the forefront of innovation with access to new digital tools to interpret the human experience. International Visitors Program The center's short-term visitorships draw distinguished international scholars to Stanford to share their research in lectures and seminars with Stanford faculty and students. Hume Undergraduate Fellowships The Humanities Center awards Hume Humanities Honors Fellowships to Stanford seniors writing an honors thesis in a humanities department. In residence for an academic year, Hume Fellows contribute to the collegial life of the center and receive intellectual guidance and mentoring from staff and fellows. Directors. <laughs> <laughs> Ian P. Watt, 1980–1985 Bliss Karnachan, 1985–1991 Herbert Lindenberger, 1991–1992 Interim Wanda Korn, 1992–1995 Keith Baker, 1995–2000 Peter Stansky, 2000-2001 John Bender, 2001-2008 Aaron Rodrigue, 2008-2013 Caroline Winterer, 2013-present <laughs> Distinguished Careers Institute The Distinguished Careers Institute DCI, established in 2014, is a year-long residential fellowship for approximately 20 individuals who have already established leadership careers. Fellows are selected based on how their participation in the program will shape their future life journeys as well as what future fellows will contribute to the program and the broader global community. Other research centers Stanford Artificial Intelligence Laboratory The Stanford Artificial Intelligence Laboratory also known as the Stanford AI Lab, or SAIL is the Artificial Intelligence AI Research Laboratory of Stanford University. The current director is Professor Chris Manning. Topic Early years SAIL was started in 1963 by John McCarthy, after he moved from Massachusetts Institute of Technology to Stanford. Lester D. Less Ernest, also previously of MIT, served as executive officer self-deprecatingly, chief bureaucrat at SAIL from 1965 to 1980. During the same years, SAIL was housed in the D.C. Power Building, named not for direct current but rather for Donald Clinton Power, who held the positions of President, CEO and Chairman of General Telephone and Electronics Corporation later GTE Corporation between 1951 and 1971. GT&E donated the unfinished building to Stanford University after abandoning plans to establish a research center there. 
During this period Sale was one of the leading centers for AI research and an early ARPANET site, D.C. Power was on a hill overlooking Felt Lake in the foothills of the Santa Cruz Mountains behind Stanford. It was about 5 miles 8 kilometers from the main campus, at 1600 Arostradero Road, midway between Page Mill Road and Alpine Road. This area was, and remains, quite rural in nature. Combined with the rather extreme 1960s architecture of the place, this remote setting led to a certain isolation. Some people who worked there reported feeling as if they were already in the future. The building was demolished in 1986. As of 2003, the site is home to Portola Pastures, an equestrian center adjacent to the Arostradero Open Space Preserve. Sale created the Waits operating system on a computer called Sale. Weights ran on various models of Digital Equipment Corporation PDP computers, starting with the PDP-6, then the KA-10 and KL-10. Weights also ran on Funili systems at CCRMA and LLL. The SAIL system was shut down in 1991. SAIL, the Stanford Artificial Intelligence Language, was developed by Dan Swinehart and Bob Spruill of the Stanford AI Lab in 1970. Alumni of the original SAIL played a major role in many Silicon Valley firms, becoming founders of now large firms such as Cisco Systems and Sun Microsystems, as well as smaller companies such as Vikram. Inc. acquired by Unimation, Foonly, Elksy, Imagine, Zydex, Valid Logic Systems, and D.E. Shaw & Co. Research accomplishments at SAIL were many, including in the fields of speech recognition and robotics. <laughs> Demise and rebirth In 1980, SAIL's activities were merged into the university's computer science department and it moved into Margaret Jacks Hall on the main Stanford campus. SAIL was reopened in 2004, now in the Gates Computer Science Building, with Sebastian Thrun becoming its new director. SAIL's 21st century mission is to change the way we understand the world." Its researchers contribute to fields such as bioinformatics, cognition, computational geometry, computer vision, decision theory, distributed systems, game theory, general game playing, image processing, information retrieval, knowledge systems, logic, machine learning, multi-agent systems, natural language, neural networks, planning, probabilistic inference, sensor networks, and robotics. The best known achievement of the new sale is the Stanley self-driving car that won the 2005 DARPA Grand Challenge. <laughs> Stanford Center for Entrepreneurial Studies The Center for Entrepreneurial Studies CES at Stanford University is a multidisciplinary business-oriented program targeted to both undergraduate and graduate students. It incorporates courses from Stanford University School of Engineering and Stanford Graduate School of Business. It also incorporates Stanford Mayfield Scholars Program that seeks to give select undergraduate students an opportunity to take business-related coursework and to intern in high-tech startups. CES was founded by Tom Byers and Charles A. Holloway. Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics 
The Stanford University Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics CCRMA, founded by John Chowning, is a multi-discipline facility where composers and researchers work together using computer-based technology both as an artistic medium and as a research tool. CCRMA's director is Chris Chafe. CCRMA's current faculty includes a mix of musicians and engineers including Julius Smith, Jonathan Berger, Max Matthews Emeritus, Zhe Wang, Takako Fujioka, Tom Rossing, Jonathan Abel, Marina Bassi, David Berners, Jay Caddis, and Fernando López Lescano. Emeritus Professor Max Matthews died in 2011. Widely used digital sound synthesis techniques like FM synthesis and digital waveguide synthesis were developed CCRMA and licensed to industry partners. The FM synthesis patent brought Stanford $20 million before it expired, making it in 1994 the second most lucrative licensing agreement in Stanford's history. The Knoll Almost 100 years ago, this Spanish Gothic residence, known as the Knoll, was originally designed by Louis Christian Mulgart, and built as a residence for the university's president. In 1946, the building became home to the music department, and then in 1986, CCRMA took over residency. Damaged in 1989 during the Loma Prieta earthquake, the knoll nonetheless housed CCRMA in its damaged condition until a complete internal reconstruction between 2004–2005. The reopening of the facility was celebrated in the spring of 2005 with the CCRMA, New Stage Festival. This unique building now comprises several state-of-the-art music studios and top-notch research facilities, hosting a variety of students, artists and scientists. CCRMA is affiliated with the Center for Computer Assisted Research in the Humanities CCARH, also located at Stanford. CCARH conducts research on constructing computer databases for music and on creating programs that allow researchers to access, analyze, print, and electronically perform the music. Topic: Stanford Institute for Creativity and the Arts SICA. The Stanford Institute for Creativity and the Arts SICA, established in 2006, serves as the core programmatic hub for the Stanford Arts Initiative, leading the development of new undergraduate arts programs, hosting artists in residence, awarding grants for multidisciplinary arts research and teaching, incubating collaborative performances and exhibitions with campus partners and other institutions, and providing centralized communication for arts events and programs at Stanford University. <laughs> <laughs> National Performance of Dams Program The Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering maintains the National Performance of Dams Program, a national database of structural and operational data related to dam systems in the U.S. Begun in 1994, this program provides data to the dam engineering and safety community about the in-service performance of dam systems. The analysis of this data covering both successful operations and incidents, including failures, is intended to lead to improvements in design and requirements, engineering processes and standards, operational procedures and guidelines, and public policy development. Topic: 
Michelle R. Clayman Institute for Gender Research Founded in 1974, and named after economist Michelle R. Clayman, the Michelle R. Clayman Institute for Gender Research at Stanford University is one of the nation's oldest research organizations focused on the study of gender. The Clayman Institute designs basic interdisciplinary research, creates knowledge, networks people and ideas at Stanford, nationally, and internationally to affect change and promote gender equality. The Clayman Institute plays an integral role in the Stanford community by bringing together local, national and international scholars and thought leaders from across disciplines to create knowledge and affect change. The Clayman Institute is located at Sarah House at Stanford. History In 1972 faculty and graduate students in the feminist movement were the impetus behind the formation of the institute. In 1974, the Center for Research on Women was the first interdisciplinary center or institute of its kind and quickly built a strong reputation under the direction of Myra Strober, the founding director. The reputation of CIGR grew outside Stanford, and the University of Chicago Press chose Stanford as the base of the second five-year rotation of its new interdisciplinary journal, Signs. In 1983 the Institute was renamed the Institute for Research on Women and Gender and continued to expand the gender conversation with the «Difficult Dialogues» program, which ran in the 1990s through 2004. In 2004, the new director, Professor Londa Schiebinger, a historian of science, formed a plan to create a series of research initiatives on gender issues, backed by a research fellowship program, that would attract scholars from Stanford and abroad. With the help of matching funds from the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation and strong support from the Institute's Advisory Council, Schiebinger spearheaded a fundraising drive to create an endowment for the Institute. IRWG was renamed in honor of Michelle R. Clayman, the major donor in the campaign, who serves as the chair of the Institute's Advisory Council. Research The Clayman Institute designs basic research and supports the creation of knowledge through its fellowships and interdisciplinary programs. Recent reports, publications include Gendered Innovations in Science and Engineering, Londa Schiebinger, ed. 2008. Dual Career Academic Couples – What Universities Need to Know. The Michelle R. Clayman Institute, 2008. This Clayman Institute research study shows that over 70% of faculty are in dual career relationships. This report tackles tough questions and recommends policies to maximize options. Climbing the Technical Ladder – Obstacles and Solutions for Mid-Level Women in Information Technology. The Michelle R. Clayman Institute and the Anita Borg Institute, 2008. This report provides an in-depth look into the barriers to retention and advancement of technical women in Silicon Valley's high-tech industry and provides practical recommendations to employers on overcoming these barriers. <laughs> Fellowships The Clayman Institute runs two fellowship programs. The Faculty Research Fellowships seek to drive intellectual and social innovation through interdisciplinary gender studies. They include residential fellowships for tenured, tenure track, and postdoctoral scholars from Stanford University, and U.S. and foreign universities. 
The Clayman Institute also offers graduate dissertation fellowships for Stanford University doctoral students. Fellowships are awarded to students who are in the writing stages of their dissertations, and whose research focuses on women and or gender. Directors 1974–77 Myra Strober 1977–79 Diane Middlebrook 1979–84 Myra Strober 1984–85 Marilyn Yalom, Deputy Director, as Acting Director 1985–86 Judith Brown, Acting Director 1986–90 Deborah Rode 1990–97 Iris Litt 1997–2001 Laura Karstensen 2001–04 Barbara Jelpe, Acting Director 2004–10 Londa Schiebinger 2010 Shelley J. Carell Topic: Affiliations. Stanford's Center for Computer Research and Acoustics is part of a consortium with CNMAT and the Institut de Recherche et Coordination Acoustique Musique (IRCAM) in Paris. Topic: See also. Hoover Institution, a public policy think tank and library founded in 1919 by U.S. President Herbert Hoover, it has a great degree of independence from the university though on the same campus. SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory, a particle physics research facility run by Stanford University under the programmatic direction of the United States Department of Energy Shri International, originally the Stanford Research Institute, but independent since 1970.